Veterans Village, PSGC, 137,404,130, more commonly known as Project 7 and Munoz, is a barangay located in the San Francisco del Monte district of Quezon City with an approximate land area of 51.941 hectares bounded by Barangay San Antonio in the southwest, Roosevelt Avenue in the west, Barangay Bungad in the southeast and EDSA in the north. Neighboring barangays include Bahay Toro, Katipunan, Sto, Cristo, Alicia, Paltok, Phil M, Del Monte and Bagong Pag Asa under the 1st Legislative District in Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. History People's Home Site and Housing Corporation PHHC. The People's Home Site and Housing Corporation played a major role in the development of Quezon City after the city's inauguration as the nation's capital on October 22, 1949. It was responsible for the development of the 1,572-hectare land purchased as early as 1938 belonging to the Diliman estate of the Tuasan family. Construction of the Roxas home site, originally called Project 1, along Diliman Creek, commenced the series of in-city housing projects namely, Quirino District, Projects 2, 3, and 4, Magsaysay District, Project 6, with the very first Newsman Row, in the country, Bagong Pag Asa, which was the first informal settlers' resettlement area, Veterans Village, Project 7, and Toro Hills home site, Project 8. From the original land appropriated to Project 7, PHHC decided to split the area into North Bago Bante and South Bago Bante. The northern portion is now Barangay Ramon Magsaysay while the southern part officially becomes Veterans Village after a Quezon City resolution was passed in 1956. Development of North EDSA Corridor after the completion of SM City North EDSA as the country's first SM Supermall, the area has developed into a commercial strip of office buildings, car dealerships, a community-based mall, an LRT station and transport hub for commuters going to and from northern Quezon City, Caminava and Bulacan areas. Notable landmarks, mostly along Dangay Street, include the newly opened St. Peter Group of Companies. Corporate Center, March 27, 2018, Walter Mart North EDSA Mall and Corporate Offices, Cityland. S. North Residences Condominium, Panorama Development Corporation. S. Panorama Technocenter Building, Robinson's Land Corporation Roxico Vanguard Hotel Corporation. Go Hotels North EDSA, Eurotel North EDSA, Munoz Market, Congressional Arcade, North Metro Hotel Apertel, Chutz Badminton and Sports Center and Service Stations of Shell, Unioil, Phoenix Petroleum and PTT. Some private schools have been established in the vicinity such as St. Augustine School of Nursing, Our Lady of Monticiari School, Castleville Academy, Hope Christian Academy and the government-run Esteban Abada Elementary School. A Minelid Joint Sewage and Septage Treatment Plant has been in operation at the corner of Road A and Anaha Extension since October 18, 2013. Barangay and Sangguniang Kabatan Officials List of Punong Barangay Members of Sangguniang Barangay the new Barangay and SK Councils were elected on May 14, 2018. Demography As of the 2015 Census of the National Statistics Office Philippines, the population of Barangay Veterans Village is 11,520. Facilities Veterans Village maintains a Quezon City Public Library branch, social and hygiene clinic and recreational facilities such as a Barangay Sports Center and covered basketball court located a few blocks away from the Barangay Hall. Places of Worship Coincidentally, a number of religious places and or churches are located in the vicinity of EDSA Southbound, Bansalangan and Anaha Streets. 
These are Word of Hope Church, Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ, Jesus is Lord, Church of Christ, Ang Dating Don, Local Ang Munoz, National Shrine of Ina Pun Bado under Apostolic Catholic Church and the Roman Catholic Parish Church of Christ the King. Peace and Order Barangay Captain De Jesus was sued for gross neglect of duty complaint by MMDA General Manager Thomas Orbos at the office of the Ombudsman on April 10, 2017. The Barangay Chief was found careless and indifferent in preventing the return of road obstructions after the MMDA helped the Barangay in the clearing operations of illegally parked and junk vehicles in sidewalks two months prior. See also Barangays of Quezon City Legislative Districts of Quezon City Vincent Crisologo Quezon City Manila LRT Line 1 Barangay Elections References, <references>